Hello, my name is Matt Hester, and let's take another quick peek at the System Center Configuration Manager 2007 dashboard, a free Microsoft Solution Accelerator. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about how to actually use the dashboard and how to configure it. Now remember, why do we actually use the dashboard? Remember some of the key benefits. It helps provide very easy and dependable access to your information. It's tying directly into the System Center Configuration Manager database. So you're getting the same data that you would see inside the System Center Configuration Manager tool, but you're getting it in a much easier to use and easier to recognize information. Um, this tool is very easy to build and configure, very easy install. It's also very easy to customize. Um, that's what you're going to see inside this webcast of where you can go in to actually modify the tool. The tool is also very flexible and it's a very interactive tool. You can move around inside of it, get the data, filter it out, all kinds of great things you can do inside the tool. Now how does it, what, what, how do, what makes up the components of the dashboard? There are a couple of components that make up the dashboard. What are the components that actually make up the dashboard? When you install the dashboard, there actually are two components. One component is the Microsoft Dashboard Configuration Web Part. So the components here are actually two web parts that get installed as a part of the install. The Configuration Web Part is designed to help create and modify the queries for your different data sets to help modify your SQL information. It basically allows you to control what data you want to get out of your System Center Configuration Manager database. The second part is actually the viewer part, and this one's the easy part. This one just displays what you told it inside the configuration web part, and you can control what kind of graphs, uh, what kind of visually representations that occur there. Now, how does this actually work? What's the actual process flow for the configuration manager dashboard? Well, what will happen is that as an IT service manager, you're going to request some kind of new data set. You're going to say, hey, I need to see information about this. You as the dashboard administrator is going to use the configuration web part to actually define the new data set. Um, and that actually is a screenshot of what you'll see. As that administrator, you'll store the configuration information for the new data set. And all that information is stored inside the Windows SharePoint Services content uh, database. You will then will take that copy of that dashboard uh, viewer part that you have and you'll basically change it to the default configuration manager dashboard and then modify the part to display whatever new data set that you want. You'll then hand that information back over to the actual administrator themselves or the service manager, whoever needs to see that data. And what will happen is when the service manager hits your dashboard site, the Windows SharePoint services queries the configuration manager site database as specified by whatever that data set is looking for. Windows SharePoint services then will render that new data set using the dashboard viewer web part. So these web parts work very much in conjunction, not only from an administrator standpoint, but that viewer part actually is going to use those queries that you define there. Once again, they get the information that's important to you or to your other IT service managers inside your organizations. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the dashboard works and take a brief look at some of the customizations that you can do inside the actual dashboard. Now let's take a look at the Configuration Manager dashboard in a little more detail on how we can actually use it. Now one of the things you're going to notice right off the bat, and this is the great thing about this dashboard, is that you get your data of what's going on in your environment fairly easily. And you can find out information like what's your success rate on software deployment or software update management. Um, you can even get in and take a look at OS deployment uh, successes, clients at status. You can even create your own kind of update compliance scorecard that gives you an idea of where we are from a clients from security updates and where we're actually working out inside of there. Now the great thing about this data that we have here and the great thing about the dashboard that this isn't just all you get. This is what you get out of the box. But what you can do here with the dashboard is some great customization just simply with the filters that are evolved. Now you'll notice that when I show the filter for my software deployment status, I'm looking at just at the virtual uh, Adobe Reader 9.1 uh, advertisement. But notice that I can actually take a look at all the other advertisements that are here. I can look at the different collections that I want to look at. I can even go in and take a look at the different uh, site codes that may be there.
If I hop into the show filter for a software update management, I could say, hey, you know what, just show me the main pa patch management group. And with a simple click, I can actually bring up all that data for me to leverage and work with. And this is what makes this tool so great. It makes it very easy to bubble up the data that you're most, most interested in inside of your organization of what's going on based on your collections, based on your advertisements. You can do a lot of great work inside of here. But that is just one part of the System Center configuration manager dashboard. The other great thing is the ability to actually modify and work with the data that you care about. So if I go to site actions here and select edit page, you'll see the other part of the dashboard with the ability to create your own data sets and get your own look into the data that you need to see that's important. So I'm going ahead select edit page, give it a second here to chug. Now notice in the edit the page what I can do. I can actually create my own data sets. I can get refreshes. If I have them out there, I can work with those configurations. I can set up my own database uh, data sets. Now you'll have to know the SQL queries and what you want to do. What I like here is you have the ability to validate and parse your query to make sure you're doing things properly. You then have the ability to create different charts. What kind of pie chart, column chart, area chart, if you want to make some gauges. Uh, maybe just a simple data grid view of the data, or even if you just want to make a scorecard like I did for the security updates. You have a great wealth of opportunity here to be able to customize and work with this dashboard. So with that, I just want to say thank you for taking time to watch this quick screencast on the System Center Configuration Manager 2007 dashboard.